Triple J, Xavier Tillman, Jimmy Butler, Josh Giddy, Malcolm Brogdon, they are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. It is Friday, November 3rd. We're talking FanDuel, and we're doing it right after this. But first, banner at the top of the screen, NBA Treat is the promo code. Get yourself our NBA lineup generator for $4.99. We create thousands of lineups. We get rid of everything that we think stinks. We present the rest to you. Lineup pops up on the screen. Click save if you like it. Click discard if you don't. Chalky lineups, balance lineups, contrarian lineups, lock players, swap players. This is going to make you a better DFS player bar none. If you're playing one, two, three lineups upwards of 20, this is the tool for you. Link in the description. First up at number five, I'm going to Desmond Bain. He is shooting guard small forward eligible. 8,100, projected for 42, the goal is 48. He's in the winning lineup 40% of the time. I went 34 minutes here for Bain. They're looking to get their first win. Luckily, they get to play Portland. 1.2 fantasy points per minute for Bain. It is a slight pace down spot, but they are the favorites here in Portland. 29% usage, 26 points, five boards, four and a half assists, a stock and a half. The price tag is good. You get great positionality from Bain. But honestly, the way that I look at it, they need to pick up a dub. And if they're ever gonna do it, a matchup against Portland's the way to do it. And if they pick up a dub, Desmond Bain's gonna have a lot to do with it. Opposite side of this game, Shaden Sharp in at number four, shooting guard small forward eligible, 7,100. Projected for 38, winning lineup 42% of the time. Scoot Henderson out, Anthony Simons already out. There's a lot to go around for Shaden Sharp, and I think he's gonna soak it up. 38 minutes, a fantasy point per minute, 22 points, five and a half boards, four and a half assists, and a stock and a half. It's a really nice pace up spot against Memphis, a team that just hasn't been good so far this season. This all looks great for Sharp. The price, the position, the matchup, all of it. And the fact that he's got two other starters out, 70 free minutes to go around for Shaden Sharp. We are not done with Blazers. Jeremy Grant in at number three. Power forward only, 6,100. Projected for 33, winning lineup 42% of the time. He's gonna get a little bit of a usage bump now with these guys out. He just has to do a little bit more. This is a young team. He's, he's gonna do more Jeremy Grant in Detroit type things. 0.95 fantasy points per minute. 20 points, five boards, three assists, a steal, and a block. Again, in this really nice matchup against Memphis. You're gonna have to get to a lot of the Blazers. They're likely the most popular team on today's slate. Jeremy Grant's the man. Is he the last Blazer though? It looks like he is. Jalen Williams in at number two. Small forward power forward eligible 6,700. Projected for 37, winning lineup 43% of the time. I thought we were gonna get the game of all games. Golden State, the established team against the upstart Oklahoma City Thunder. But unfortunately, SGA is out, and that's why you see Jalen Williams where he is. 34 minutes, 1.1 fantasy points per minute, 19 and a half points, five boards, five assists, two stocks, pace up spot against Golden State. It's in Oklahoma City, which I think is beneficial with Shea out. If you go to Golden State for this one, it could get a little dicey. I'm expecting a big day out of Jalen Williams. I love the positionality, I love the price tag, and his role really changes without SGA. But the guy I want the most is Lou Dort. Also, shooting guard small forward eligible, 4,800. Projected for 26, winning lineup 43% of the time. 32 minutes here for Dort. He's like a 0 .8 to 0 .85 guy. Gets a bit of a usage bump when Shea's not around. 14 points, five boards, two assists, and a stock and a half. It's a really nice matchup here against Golden State from a pace perspective. Maybe not necessarily from just facing a good team perspective. You really wanna have Shea around. But we're playing DFS. And this has created a lot of value, so much so that Lou Dort is your number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Friday, November 3rd. DraftKings version around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck, everybody. Win some money. We are back again Monday morning for another edition of The Contenders.